are these cuties? Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Herrera here. I hope that you're all well. I'm taking a slight detour from Super Junior, not that far away, only to Yezang. And the reason being is because I've realized I am obsessed with his voice and I need to listen to everything very quickly because otherwise I won't be able to function as a human being anymore. <laughs> so this is a few different things, so official music videos, live performances, kind of like listening to his raw voice as well. So thank you so much for dropping me links and for recommendations because once again, I couldn't have put this together without all of your help. So this is is Pink Magic, Beautiful Night Live, um, Still Standing, which I think is a live clip, and then My Dear, which is him performing on radio, and then Paper Umbrella, which is the Tipsy Live version, which lots of you have recommended. So um, yeah, I'm just really excited to hear more from him. Let's go. Oh my god. The thing is, somebody needs to let me know, have you actually ever seen this man in real life? Because I don't think that he's real. Somebody needs to confirm that you've seen him like at a concert or at a fan meeting or just around because I'm not buying it. <laughs> The visuals, oh my goodness. Ah! <laughs> Who are these cuties? Oh, so like sultry, so lounge. I absolutely love it. Wow. The confidence in this is on a different level, like he's really coming cr across really differently. I don't think I've seen him like this so far. I love this kind of like, so he's got that huskiness, but he's really putting it on for this. He's almost like whisper singing, which is really nice. Again, he's sounding so different in this, and I'm liking that he has clearly explored his voice in a lot of different ways. He hasn't just gone with whatever he was most well known for or most liked for. Um, he's trying different styles, which is quite nice. And the thing is that I feel like, okay, he probably gets a lot of hate for his sound and he'll probably get compared to Kyun a lot. Um, we, they have very, very different voices. Like there is just no comparison there. The thing is with a voice like this, it's so stylized that I just can't imagine somebody else singing it. He's, that, he's got that sort of a voice that I think other singers would really, that naturally people would think are just spectacular. I'm not saying that this man is not spectacular, but what I'm saying is that like, they would struggle to sing something so stylized. Um, and I think that's a credit to Yezong and his voice. He's so pretty. Oh my gosh.
I love that we can see his face more. I am absolutely dead. I cease to be alive after that. His look with that voice, I just, I don't think that that ever just happens. That is just unbelievable. The two don't really go together, but they do go together. It really just messes with your mind. I don't really know what to make of this individual apart from I absolutely love him and his voice and his look. I'm sold. His eyes are actually unbelievable. I wish that he wouldn't hide them so much. Like, my goodness. I love when he really pushes into his voice and it goes right up there and it goes into that little squeak because that squeak is like so far away from that depth. It just, yeah, when you hear that, it makes you just like, it makes all the hair stand on end. It's just one of those moments. He is just singing this with such ease. I really get from him that he's not out to like be famous, if you see what I mean. Like he's just really passionate about singing. He just seems to be really enjoying himself. He's not overly like moving around. This is not like an overdone performance. Everything I've seen of him has never been like an overdone performance. Okay, so choreography aside, because those are meant to be like that. Whenever it's just him and a microphone, he is very much lost in the performance. And I really like that. That's a really, uh, it's a really different quality to have, I feel. He's not just performing for the sake of it, you know? This voice! <laughs> 
Good with the trumpets. He just always looks so calm, so like well put together. I really like this. Like his eyes are very intense, and he does keep them hidden quite a bit, which is a little bit of a a downer for me because I would love to be able to see his eyes a lot more. Um, but the, he always has his gaze it's always a little bit down. It's very interesting to pick up on these like habits um, that I don't know that he's picked up over time. Or I don't know whether he's always been like that. I don't know whether at one time it was a confidence thing. But it's really endearing to watch and to look at as well. Oh my god, look at his styling. He looks so good. Okay, so I'm going to pause it already. I kind of want to talk about his look a little bit. So looking at um, the younger days and just looking at his face alone, um, I kind of get this very soft vibe from him, okay? And he looks really small and cute. But seeing him more on his own and in solo settings, he's actually quite masculine. So he has this feminine face, right? This really soft looking face. But actually, physically, he's quite built and that's really shocking to me like it's weird to see him like this with these long legs and like this hunched over back like he has quite a a stature to him which you can see just goes to support that voice <laughs> Oh. She's got such a unique sound. I'm still standing, still standing, still standing. My mom and I taking a bath. Still standing, I'm still standing, still standing. As me, I get it on the path. Oh, 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 this man has the saddest eyes I have ever seen. Wow. <laughs> So I was hesitant to listen to him collaborating with other artists, especially females, um, mainly because I think I'm quite greedy with his voice. He doesn't need to collaborate with anybody else. And I know that's not why people collaborate. But for me, I feel like I want to just hear him for three, four minutes by himself. I'm absolutely fine with that. There is no like 
I don't know, like urgency for me to hear him with another voice. And especially with females, I feel like he has quite a nice range. Um, he can bring that brightness into a song if he wants to. This particular person doesn't have a very bright feminine voice anyway, which I was kind of thinking that she would. Um kind of to balance out his darkness but it's actually making me appreciate his voice a little bit more hearing it with this female voice um and hearing how his energy is going with her as well because she's got a very talky voice and he has an incredibly singy voice and the mix of the two is really highlighting him for me This is so sweet. I'm actually glad you can still hear her above him because I think his voice is quite overpowering um, and she just about can be heard and has that unique sound as well if she had just had a beautiful sounding voice i don't know how that would have actually gone but she has this really unique sound herself which is then just the mix of them too is just beautiful <laughs> Oh, his jeans are wet. I swear his job in life is just to go around giving chills to people because the amount of chills I get when I listen to Ye Sung sing. <laughs> is quite spacey it really creates this atmosphere is the actual song acoustic as well like this He had to look up at that point, didn't he? <laughs> How can you not feel lost in that? What I find with Ye Sang's voice is that it's not something that I can just have like in a mix and listen to and just carry on with like day-to-day -day tasks. Every time I hear his song, his voice, it really does make me stop. And there's not many voices that make me feel that way. I just feel like it's very, very intense. And to fully appreciate it, you really have to just stop what you're doing. It's 
album is like a lullaby, isn't it? I love how everyone suddenly just, it drops down a notch. You all have to like step back, really focus, close your eyes. That's the only way to enjoy this man's voice. You really just have to detach from the rest of the world. <laughs> Chills. That was such a sweet moment. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this whole setting for this performance is so interesting and it is showing me a really different side to the thing that I've not seen before. So starting off, it took him a couple of seconds to get into that because I can feel like, you know, you're in a really relaxed environment. You're eating, you're drinking, you're with your friends and you don't necessarily think you're going to start performing. Okay, so you kind of have to get into it. So it took a few seconds for him to get into that. He was a little bit shaky, but... Once he got into it, once he felt the energy from those around him that are only willing him to do well. And the thing is that this is not just strangers in an audience. These are people that you love and that you spend a lot of time with. Um, and so that's a different sort of a performance. And especially in an environment like this, like there's no microphones. This is not rehearsed. This is him just doing it. Um, so it was a little bit colder at the beginning, as I am going to guess it's supposed to be. However... Once they gave him that little cheer, once Hitchell held his hand, there was this warmth that entered his voice. And he started doing this gesture with his hand. His cheeks like filled up a little bit. You could just see how he was feeling the love. It was just such a beautiful moment. Let me go back. <laughs> Literally now. He just becomes warm. It's so weird, but it's making me feel really emotional, like seeing this. So this man is incredible anyway. 
And then this environment that he's in with the people that he loves and he is feeling relaxed and kind of like you can just hear that ease in his voice. He is wanting to share this story with everybody that is there. This is just so beautiful to watch. Wow. Let's hear that again. We have chills too. <laughs> This is just so beautiful. Okay, so we were always, always taught in drama school that you have to will on the other person. And you might think that that sounds weird because that person, you could be like watching this on TV. You could be like in a stadium full of like a thousand, two thousand people. And how is that person going to feel that? You really do feel energy like more than anything else and you feel negative energy as well so if people are willing you to like fail it's not that you are automatically going to fail but I think that energy kind of obstructs your your journey through whatever it is that you're doing Um, it makes it a little bit harder it makes you question yourself but if you're surrounded by people that are genuinely willing for you to do well and they are loving you and they want you to just kill this performance then you're going to do that you're going to feel a different level of comfort a different level of ease and you're going to really be able to connect to what it is that you're performing Um, you're going to be able to connect to your audience whether that's people that are sitting directly beside you or whether that's through the camera Um, and it's just so interesting to pick up on this because these people are really willing I can see it in Heechul he is willing um, Ye Sung to do so well in this performance, not because it's like a showy offy type of a thing, but genuinely because he loves and cares for this person and he wants him to share his talent with everybody. And it is just absolutely beautiful to see that that moment has been captured on camera. And for me, energy is above everything else. And I feel that warmth. I mean, I don't even know how old this is, but I feel that warmth. I feel that positive energy through this recording. <laughs> Because sometimes you get yourself in an environment where, like, say you're with a group of people, semi-friends, um, and, you, you know, people find out that you're a performer or that you're, that you're a singer, and they're like, go on then, sing, like you're a performing clown or something. But this is definitely not one of those environments. I feel like, although he knew that he would be filmed for this, um, this is something that he wanted to do, that he felt comfortable enough doing. It's not a performance, once again, from him. And I get that in a lot of him and in Super Junior songs. That was absolutely amazing. I can really see why you were all recommending for me to watch that and why so many people love that as well because that was something else. That's not a stage performance that deserved the amount of time and the focus um, for just, you know, like I felt like I was sat there with them. So it deserved that to be just a standalone moment, a standalone performance away from stage, away from all of those lights. This was a lot more personal than that. Um, I absolutely love and adore this man's voice. And I don't really know what else I should be listening to at this point. I know everything and I know that I'll love everything. But please do tell me if I'm still missing something really vital, a vital performance or a song from him. Um, And tell me about these songs and these performances. What do you think? 
What are your favourites? What do you like? Thank you so much for joining me for that reaction. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please do subscribe to my channel for lots more content. Like the video if you liked it, of course. And until I see you next time, take care, stay safe, bye.